So uh, my name is Mohamed Arham. I'm a third year mechanical engineering student uh, here at Queen's University. I'm the chassis lead at Queen's Formula. Our goal was to retrofit last year's frame as we're in a development year this year and make it as stiff as possible, as stiff as we could. The biggest change that we've made uh, this year is going to a 10 inch wheel package. So the reason that we wanted to make our chassis as stiff as we can is to validate the suspension data because when you model your, uh, your suspension, you're you're assuming that your chassis is infinitely stiff. As of now, uh, we expect to see about a 36% increase in stiffness, and we have a 14% increase in mass. Now, the increase in mass is pretty substantial. Uh, this is because we didn't design the frame from scratch, so we had to work around the configurations from, from the previous frame. So uh, that could be optimized and reduced significantly for the next year when we do go to competition. So another focus of the chassis team this year was to validate some physical models for different types of uh, tube joints and structures. Two of the tests that we plan on running this year are uh, bent tube versus miter tube tests because bent tubes reduce our manufacturing complexity by, by a lot since we get those outsourced. We want to make sure we know what the gains or losses of using bent tubes are. So that's, that's kind of the focus of, of those tests. Um, another test that we're running is we're trying to test the difference between bolted joints versus welded joints so that we can look into uh, subframes. So we do have an engine subframe this year uh, and when we move towards monocoques and everything it'll make validating that data quite a lot easier. The physical tests that we run are called torsion tests. So basically what we do is we put our frame onto a large torsion table which has a rotating arm and one end is fixed. So we use a load cell to measure how much force is being applied and we use uh, feeler gauges all along the length of the frame to determine the deformation at different locations and basically we're able to determine the overall, the overall stiffness of the frame and the stiffness of different sections. This data is extremely valuable because you can determine, okay, this section of the frame uh, is a lot less stiff than this section, uh, you're breaking the frame apart and figuring out which sections are stiff, which sections are not stiff. Chassis in general is, is an extremely interesting system because you have to integrate all the other subsystems of the vehicle harmoniously. It's the first thing to get made and the last thing to get designed. So that makes it a lot of fun. I like working with the time pressure and everything. And uh, at the end of the day, the chassis is what holds everything together. Yeah.